so that the complete bulk data will be mapped to you uh, this node in the runtime itself it will try to loop the data and it will do rest of the process okay now <clears throat> we'll try to pop populate the data in this journal so already it was populated for one of the journal this is your journal data batch name so on so batch ledger id this is ledger id i'm getting from you know uh, mm -hmm. from uh, gl ledger table you may get this ledger id and this is batch description accounting period name accounting date user source name user category name and these are common fields and this is gl interface which is the first node reference for entry name journal entry and journal entry description again period name accounting date user je source user je category this is interface group identifier and followed by code combination here for this chart of account we have only three code combinations right just you can use three segments otherwise here you can see in your main request in your empty request you may find you know up to 15 ideas up to 20 up to 30 segments you do have if you don't want uh, any other just you can remove from your payload that's it i think for the single record uh, this method can be used for the testing right also for the if we want to test that uh, data is sufficient or not uh, we need especially for general we need debit and credit okay to fulfill the transaction and this, these are the segments rest of the segments i was deleted from here those are not useful for me and this is currency code and here you know enter credit amount which is 100 and debit amount is blank here so i'm not maintaining maintaining any debit amount here this is reference one batch name reference two batch description and this is your ledger name again repeating the same node here second node the data would be same as it is same just i'm changing you know debit amount which is 100 everything remains same just changing debit amount which is 100 now when you invoke this method by using that web endpoint url web service these two records are successfully inserting into your gl interface table any doubts on this just will try to something variables batch and batch description you may provide the same and I think you are going to use further uh, in place of these values. We are going to use some uh, programming and logic, right? Which programming? Uh, means uh, in place of direct uh, values, we are going to use the, some variables or something to make this in the loop and for the. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. In in our integration, we try to read the data from the flat file, and whatever data is there, we are converting into XML structure language, and those. Mm -hmm. We are mapping to these columns. Fine. And this is your journal journal entry. Right? This is completely XML, right? It's a complete XML language. It doesn't support any other language. If you uh, get a, a, a if you, for example, if you are getting the data in the text format from the client, mm. you need to convert that data from text to XML and uh, you can provide the mappings from those XML to your JL interface node. Both are in XML language only. So whatever data, input data is there, just you can change your data format to XML. By using XSDs, we can change that. This is your general variables entry. Median name, same. We do have XSG and XSG. Okay, that's fine. And we may change group identifier here. So this is my debit and credit line. Copy this. And this is our request right copy paste here here there is an option authentication just click on authentication select add new authorization type basic authentication select basic only just click on ok provide your application username and password in real time they uh, in real time every client must and should follow one of the ics user pass ics user logins they will share with you if you are working with uh, these web services and integrations which is generic uh, user for especially integrations uh, is there any roles specific for this uh, using this tool and integration? Yeah, we need integration specialist role and human capital management specialist role integration specialist and integration and human management these two roles are required when you create you know uh, if you want to invoke these web services sometimes 
when you add these two rows even though you are not uh, getting a perm you are you will not get any permission in order to invoke your web service at that moment you may navigate your developer connect and you may add this specified privilege role in general integration specialist will support for all the web services for some of the web services it won't provide for example here oracle is saying for import journals we need gl privilege uh, you know for import journals we need gl run import journals via program called privilege this role i have not added to this user even though when you add integration specialist we may get access to invoke your web service this will take care you know all privileges and all for some of the web services it won't you know support the moment just you can verify here what are the privileges are required just you can add the respective privilege to your user this one space is there why here so this is our <coughs> payload and this is our authentication we are uh, submitting or we are sending a request to this web service with help of this authentication username and password which is a basic authentication and here there is an option one green color symbol is there submit request to specified endpoint url just click on this here you can observe here it will try to pro here you can uh, you know find it will processing once it is get successfully processed you know we may get output response this is output response payload which is called output response payload this is your input request payload <clears throat> for especially for import journals for output payload is always zero if it is written zero is nothing but successfully inserting data so it is successfully inserted data into your gl interface table just we will verify over there <coughs> this, this instance is your official instance yes yes yeah the group id just we are populated <coughs> Now two records gets inserted into our jail interface table, which is 9:25 today's date, and this is you know GP001 test batch. This is group ID 199560. Okay, the way you can invoke your web services. Now <coughs> the data is submitted into your jail interface. Next, you need to invoke your which is stage two import journals. For import journals, again you need to run schedule process from your uh, tool schedule process. You may invoke import journals or you may invoke a web service call for your import journals. That we will see later. Now in this, let's see some of the failure scenarios. Here, ledger ID just remove or I'm adding some zero zero here. Mm, I guess it won't. Valid, right? Yeah. Valid. So I provided incorrect ledger ID here. So it will immediately it will validate and it will throw an error. GL invalid ledger and you have entered you have entered an invalid ledger value. This is your input payload. It's saying this is the error and this is your input payload. So and so something oracle dot gbo dot exception something like this you will get validation errors if you provide you know wrong values incorrect values you can provide you know incorrect period name something gl adfdi invalid accounting period so it won't create any records it will throw here itself and in category invalid category also you know source invalid source the way you may get you know couple of errors if you populate you know incorrect values in your input payload so before inserting into interface uh, that is getting error or is it in the table error rob no it's, it's no data is not there in your table okay. no data not there in your table if data in your table is nothing but it will return a response sorry, request to payload as sorry output response payload as zero which is in the result we could see zero just you know submit again here now we are getting output response payload which is the result zero but successfully getting executed and data is there in your interface table again the same day so uh, krishna uh, somewhere um, that uh, validations are happening uh, behind that before inserting into the table some so some logic logic is written here right yeah this complete adf related you know framework there they are defined all these logics and all nothing but whatever you are providing the data again this data will goes to view objects from the view objects it will it will try to validate the data but it's not possible to verify where they are referring these and all the view objects and how they are written these logics and all no it's fine no problem no okay now your data in your interface table okay let's this is for import journals if you want to get some entity list this is a request again just expand your method whatever you want the method expand 
you may get you know request you can you know uh, invoke whatever you want and this is our import generates one of the request right if i want to create a new request this is my request i want to create a new request just right click on import generates new request something request to click on okay it will create a you know empty request empty input payload for us otherwise if i want to clone my request whatever data request is there i want to clone this is my data request i want to clone this request just click on the request the clone request copy of the request one you create one of data input along with your data along with data it will create a input payload for us you may change here and you can work with multiple scenarios okay so before working our integrations if you are using the web services first we need to you know uh, successfully verify your web service in your, in your soap ui2 at that time you can know what are the inputs payloads what are the mandatory columns what are the additional columns i need to populate in any client before developing any integration first we are going to test our web services once you are ready with all the web services then only you are going to start your integration development okay for one of the scenario just i will show you here in our google drive our web services document which is i worked on real time contract web services which is very complex web services the combination of web services and the rest apis this is you know one of my client uh, web services which is working on the contracts creation the creating the contract from this from siemens system my source system is the siemens here for create contract there is a web service is there create the contract create on the operation i am using create contract and one of the one more operation i am using merge contract and this is my request payload and this is my response payload first we need to categorize all your web services as per your business requirement once you are ready with your request and response payload by using this you may develop your integrations and create asset subdate contracts and push entitlements this is one of the scenario business scenario nothing more this is one of the integration in that integration i am going to use these web services in the rest apis this is one of the rest apis this request payload and response payload means after that whenever you executed then uh, it generated right whenever we are successfully executed just we need to take a backup of your request payload and the response payload so the way you can categorize all your business requirements and against that you can find all your web services against operation whatever operations you want sometimes it's not possible to you know get exact input payload in order to fulfill the requirement you may log uh, service request to oracle oracle will provide you payload even though they will not pay, uh, provide the payload directly they will conduct some owc sessions with you in order to fulfill the requirement some of the web services are straight forward no here jira interface is straight forward especially for the contract web services we may need help from oracle in order to fulfill the requirement even though they are provided the input payload you know it's not achievable okay so now <clears throat> whatever the operations are given for the import generals uh, that is for single uh, purpose or we, we are going to use uh, inside one operation the second operation no only you can use for import generals for only import generals only for you cannot, yeah you cannot use import generals in your get entity list okay It's independent operations. Whatever you can, you whatever you want, just you can invoke. It's not. It's like a PL SQL function. Exactly, same PL SQL process. Okay. So this in in that this package, these are your processes are complete processes or functions like that. Yeah, that But now PL, clear. <laughs> But in PL SQL, we may invoke processes inside of processes, right? Processes are functions. Yeah, they are not possible. Just you can use an independent operation. So. that's the like a, okay fine yeah this is for general creation now our data in your interface tables so in order to submit your import process okay oracle is provided a web uh, visual for us which is erp integration web service yesterday i have been shown right here erp integration service let's click on this this is our visual in this visual erp integration service visual we have get ess job status submit ess job and so on by using submit ess job request we need to uh, submit our import journals ess job okay for that just here this is our erp integration web service and here here we do have submit ess job request the same method here submit ess job request just expand this this is my request try to create a new request here this is my new request 
here we have submit as a job request job package name job definition name and the parameter list as a manual process we need to uh, you know launch your or submit your main import as a job by using this submit as a job request so in order to submit your main import as a job we need job as a job package name as a job definition name and associated as a job parameters again jira or more repetitions nothing but you may repeat uh, this element as many times as per your parameters now our case import general site main import as a job just here navigate to setup and maintenance and where we are finding our as a jobs in generally and even to remember where we are finding as a jobs whether it is whether it is custom or standard manage uh, manage schedule uh, yeah our import as a job is may import journal c is related to finance just select here display name you may search with import journals this is our import journals main import as a job this is your job definition name here job definition name you can copy paste and we need job package name this is your job package name, nothing but path path and followed by the parameters so what are the parameters we do have for this general import launcher nothing but import journals again go to schedule process 